Thanks, Tyler. In tonight's forecasting our future, coffee roasters and chocolatiers alike are feeling the strain as changing weather patterns impact costs of their products. All well demand continues to skyrocket. NBC 5's Adrian Pastor joins us in the studio now with how our regional suppliers are dealing with this. Adrian. Yeah, well, Brian Liz, companies I spoke with told me that cultivators are facing the perfect storm right now from diseased plants, limited planting space to the most unpredictable variable of them all, changing climate patterns. This is dragging on and, you know, we don't know. Could it change tomorrow? Yes, but it hasn't changed in four years, really. This is Dwayne Bast, head roaster at Adirondack Coffee Roasters in Plattsburgh. Since 2007, Bast has been in the business of coffee, but he says over the last couple of years, prices have continued to go up. Prior to COVID, what I was paying $175 for is now $259. So that's about a 50% increase on the cost side. According to a report from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, coffee production is a fragile sector tormented by enormous challenges. Climate change is the most pressing issue expected to reduce worldwide yield and decrease coffee sustainable land by 2050. Similar challenges are proving to be a hurdle for the chocolate industry. Climate change is a big one. There's been some diseased plants, um, limited new tree planting. Um, as well as cacao producers moving on. All of those things coupled together have, have resulted in a shortage of cacao over the last three years while demand continues to rise. Lake Champlain Chocolate says their crops come from Peru, the Dominican Republic, and the Ivory Coast. Hoping to mitigate costs, they're leaning on what they do best, selling chocolate treats with an array of delicious insides. We're just trying to be um, as proactive as possible and kind of looking at everything like the ingredients that we're using, the packaging, the size of the products, um, trying to minimize the price increase as much as we can to the consumer. And try as they might, both industries are hoping to see some relief soon before they're forced to adjust their price tags. We hate going up, but our costs have gone up. <laughs> you know, it's, it's we're paying the bills and, and we're doing OK, but it's just we're going to have to balance it out. For now, Bass says Adirondack Coffee Roasters has increased wholesale prices, keeping the pressure off regular retail to customers. But as for Lake Champlain Chocolates, their supply is secured for about the next 12 months. But this upcoming summer, chocolate may not be so sweet, with costs expected to go up at their retail sites. In the studio, Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.